No problem with this theme. I died there. It's going to be very sad. Uh, we can't check that one. <gasps> or can we check those? Yeah, those look particularly askew. I'm out of feeling. Oils as they were. So boring. So boring. Here. Huh? 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 Huh?
next car to catch sitting down on uh, sitting down on pedestrians will be regulated regulated to basement duty for a month. I think it's supposed to be relegated. Anyway, uh, Cornelio is already complaining down there, and I won't think twice about sending him some company if I catch any of you goofing off. Furthermore, I need to inquire about how the broken wind about the broken window in the atrium. Aren't you all supposed to be guarding up there? It needs to be fixed before the next rain, or you'll all find yourselves skipping basement duty and going straight to the streets. Unemployed. Library. Okay, let me get back to where I was, and we'll pick up from there. So I just noticed an arrow sticking out of this bookshelf. I'm still here in the library. I've got no idea what that might be doing there. I guess someone else decided to climb up here for some reason. We already tried to break that. There wasn't anything... <laughs> Pardon me. Isn't anything behind it? Anyway, um, I'm gonna go back to getting back to where I was. And I've wandered into a completely different area of the place, so I figure I should probably actually remove this. Get myself a new moss arrow. We found a mammoth prehistoric burg. Berg Invercus. Invertus. Mutation of the modern Berg, most commonly found in underground dwelling. Interesting. So we dealt with those guys. that a little bit less terribly.
something. Uh, just my mind playing tricks on me again. What was that noise? He was there before. I like how the moss arrows now also sprout mushrooms. I was saying something about a picture that was crooked. Remembering what these guys were saying about this picture. I'm a little curious what the hell they're talking about. I. Yeah, I don't think the picture was actually. It wasn't fucking anything like. Just rubbing my face on the pictures of boobs. Rubbing my face on all the paintings. I'm classy like that.
I'm gonna use for the museum key. Go back to hunting off camera. And I found the vaguely ring like object. We read the note on the uh, wall in the other room and said on the balcony. And there you have it. Worth a few bucks. And I still haven't found any trace of this third crooked painting. Gotta be something, right? benefits mercilessly knocking out or murdering everyone level.
gotta be the place, right? None of these were crooked. There's a hell of a lot more than three. I guess we should just leave, huh? find that painting. Assuming he was he had some sort of secret in mind. down into that little locked uh, employees only section. There were mine three. Nothing too interesting. Secrets. All that running around. It's two secrets. Two dudes. <laughs> uh, I got pretty close to hunting all the money, though. I'm not certain what was in those secrets, but uh, well. never thought I'd be piecing together a puzzle like this. At least Lime's office provided me with some more information. This is opening up old wounds. But I knew this day would come. Malak was training me to avenge Kedar. Smugglers. Come on. They have to be yeah. the ones that killed him. But why? 
What did he have that they didn't? I don't even know where they are. There's only one way to find out. I have to search the city market area and find Kadar's shop. Hopefully there will be a, a clue, or some kind of information I can use to find out who these smugglers are, and where they're hiding from me. There's a dusk to dawn curfew, so I'll need to avoid the city watch. Nevertheless, it's better if I go at night. Fewer stragglers around to notice my illegal entrance into Kadar's shop, and the surrounding areas. No one appreciates someone breaking into a store, even if there's a valid reason. There is a main gate to the district, but there's probably another way in. Not to mention the sewers. The stench isn't something I look forward to. At any rate, I have no idea where Kadar's shop is, but I seem to recall him mentioning that it was in a building with some other shops. If what I've been able to gather is true, it will probably be somewhere on the east side of the district. Before he scurried away for the day, Malak gave me something he called an elemental catalyst. I'm not quite sure what it does, but he said it worked with the crystals on my arrows. I guess I'll figure it out as I go along. It's been a year, but I still feel a deep sorrow when I think of Kadar's death. It's going to be difficult to enter his shop, but I must. I've been avoiding thinking about where he would have taken me on that fateful day, but no more. It's time to begin. All the city sleep. Difficulty hard. Although most of the city is open to the public, there is a curfew from dusk till dawn. Throughout the market district proper, your first task will be to find a way beyond the market wall and get inside the district. The notes you got from lines at museum indicate that Kadar was targeted by some kind of smuggling ring. You get to Kadar's shop and see if you can find some information on them. Merchants in the mer market district are known for preying and, and suckling on the lower classes. They probably won't even notice if you pay them a visit. Get 900 in loot, including at least 200 in goods. Once you have everything, have to find a way out of the market district to safety. Elemental catalyst. Convert your water arrows into their pagan counterparts. Interesting. So let's see. Flash bombs do not seem to work anymore. Um I want some water arrows, I think. Probably some healing potions. Uh, fine arrows ought to do it, I think. I'm gonna try not to blow anything up with lines or fire arrows. Moss arrows might be good just in case, but I think we'll be alright without them. So let's play this mission, I guess. I feel like I might be wasting money on some of this stuff, but let's see what happens. And actually, I'm gonna give it a uh I'm gonna stop here for now. So thank you again for watching. Hello, welcome back to uh Two Shadows of the Metal Age. Another Thief 2 expansion. Shadows of the Metal Age. Um, not certain how far I'll get into this next map. It's getting a little late already, but I figured I'd start on it at least. So, we need to get into Market District. We need to break into my dead cousin's old shop, which apparently is still unused after a year. We need that. Uh, we need to... Uh, put a few coins in our purse, and make it out of here without being spotted. Or, well, yeah, that's not gonna happen. As we've already established, I am a terrible thief. I will do my best.
Okay, we're not even in the market district yet. Interesting. Okay, let's do some exploring. Okay, one more thing to do and then it's bedtime for me. Going on while current with the events of district will remain in effect until further notice. Megler's shop will remain closed during the day. The gates of the district will remain closed at night until the brigands responsible for looting the store are found. This curfew is for your own safety. Please respect the law and take care of all business you have in the district before nightfall. Sheriff Gorman Truard. Ah, he's, uh, occurring from Eve 2. I just noticed that the uh, recording status icon turns to pause when I'm changing these maps. I wonder what that means. Oh, we have a note from Malik. Oh yeah, I have given you a small piece of crystal harvested directly from the Maw, the birthplace of our magic. Yeah, he's definitely, if not the woodsy one, definitely trickster-ish. Definitely, definitely. Then it's small shard and others like it power to distort the primordial essence of each element found in nature. Harvest these natural elements for use as weapons, as I have taught you. Now it is time to begin using them as they were intended. Each element is balanced. For each passive manifestation, there is an aggressive manifestation. For each aggressive manifestation, there is a passive. The first piece of crystal will mold your water arrows into the hardest, sharpest of fight. Into the hardest, sharpest of ice. Ice only to be found naturally in the maw. 
Use it to drive icy fear and pain into the hearts of your enemies. Halt them cold in their tracks. Use it to escape or move freely. If there is a body of water nearby. Oh. Or in water, these arrows will create small islands for you to cross. Use the crystal again to change your ice hardened arrows back to ordinary water if you so desire. Use the power wisely, and they shall reward you with more of our magic in the future. I wonder. I want to check. Now I'm curious. Maybe that was something that, uh, laid back there. <laughs> this guy's not going to go. I do like stalking. Probably something wrong with me. Oh well. reason to buy more uh, water arrows now. Yes, when I walk on a diagonal I do walk slightly faster, because vector addition is hard. Fixing it again. game called Shadows or Blades in the Dark. Which sounds based on the uh, the pitch it was given. Like a role playing game version of but um the uh crew element, so obviously one 
person in a DM can be kind of boring. More interesting to have a crew. The, uh... The uh, whole good chunk of the mechanics revolve around who is capable of, and as your crew levels up, then you, your individual crew members gain more abilities. And it sounds very interesting. And we've already read this. That and one of the stretch goals was a uh, reskin for the rules that set it as a uh, dystopian cyberpunk sort of deal, so, I mean, Shadowrun with better rules? Maybe better rules. That's yet to be determined. At the very least, it should be simpler. <gasps> Watch patrol guard. Market district. Report for duty, sir. You're late, Hawkins. Sorry, sir. It's the missus. She's keeping me up late and I'm not sleeping enough. Listen up, little soldier. That new sheriff is making a lot of headway cleaning out the bad element in this city. Not only with the known criminals, but he's trying to weed out corruption within the city watch as well. He's just itching for an excuse to come down here and make an example out of one of us. Yes, sir. Hawkins, you either get your head on straight or you'll be back to shoveling coal for those religious freaks in no time. Open the gate! I don't see myself sneaking in there. Very, going very well at this point. So we can find another way in. Okay, so that's just where the I hint about where to go. Probably hit that lever up there with an arrow. You 
I was standing here a month ago. What did I just see? Come on now, you know come on is? now. Don't fade out from boredom. Pay attention. Maybe something exciting will happen in a minute. <laughs> 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 He always gets one of those things first. I never have gotten one first. Well, I want one, damn it. Well, I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna get one. And it's gonna be great. Yep. Can't wait. Yeah! I'm excited! Okay, calm down. Payday tomorrow. Gonna buy me some bootlaces and green beans. <laughs> come on now, come on now. Don't fade out from boredom. Pay attention. Maybe something exciting will happen in a minute. Huh. Hey, baby. As long as I can get one before the other guy does. <laughs> He always gets one of those things first. I never have gotten one I'm first. So well, I want great. one, damn it. I can eat I'm gonna be there and I'm gonna get one and it's gonna be great. Yep. Can't wait. Yeah! I'm excited. Okay, calm down. Maybe I should take Shut a panting. Yeah, that'd be a nice way to pass some time. Night sky and some stars, that'd be pretty easy. I'd have myself if I don't get something to eat soon. I wonder if they take it at the museum. Stop you're about to leave this world so fast your life won't even have time to flash before your eyes. Make no mistake, i Nobody gets away from me.
Look. I guess I would have had to use those water arrows anyway. This business with the thieves in the market district has gone too far. First smugglers and now a couple workers from the Green Cyclops are reporting they haven't seen their neighbor Rathran in days. Stuart has asked us to check out check it out first thing in the morning. The store has been hit. I have a feeling we'll have a bigger problem on our hands. Still, I can't believe thieves would, would be that smart. And smugglers would seem to indicate they're sloppy and overconfident. Egan thinks they're getting in and out through the sewers, and all the hatches are going are going to have to remain locked up from now on. Remain locked up from now on. Freezing. Bring your key with you tomorrow, though. After we check the other store, Hagen wants us to go down and see if we can find any clues. I can't think of a place I want to be less. Your jobs weren't dangerous enough. Now you have to risk, risk, waiting in human waste. I'm sure you'll sleep well with that on your mind. Careful. The guards will probably attack me on sight if they find out I made it into the district. Nothing. It's never really any 